of the evening. Making his way to the cage and fighting out of the red corner, it's Woods Horace. Woods Horace, 5'8", 145, Ama uh, excuse me, American top team. He's out of Coconut Creek, Coral Springs, Florida, with a record of 0-1. 140 in active amateur featherweights here in Florida. Overall records for his opponents are 1-0. He's been beat one time. It's the first time we've seen him here at Cagezilla. Yeah, he's been training now for a year and a half at ATT, American top team. He said he's real, uh, really well-rounded. He said he likes to stand. Likes to stand at bang, though. The kickboxing style. He did lose his MMA debut via first round submission to Michael Miranda in under two minutes. And that submission was a rear naked choke. Hey, and this is another one of those ATT versus Makito fights that the place is going to erupt. You know, you got the hometown crowd here coming from Florida. Makito traveled well. They brought a lot of people down from Washington, D.C. But Woods, when you fight somebody from out of the state, you know, it's like, you haven't seen this guy. You have no idea what's going to happen. But on the other hand, you're fighting down here in his home court. Different rules. That's kind of what's what I think is very cool about Kate Zilla coming here to Florida. Yeah. You're seeing Virginia guys fight against Florida guys. We are seeing some Florida guys fight against Florida guys. But Woods Horace, originally from Haiti, came over when he was five years old here to Coconut Creek, Florida. So raised in Florida, but born in Haiti. And he is the 140th active uh, featherweight here in Florida, ranked 140th. So we'll see here in his second mixed martial art event. But it's just great to see so many fighters here from ATT as they have so many legends in the game with Jorge Masvidal. And his opponent making his way to the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. It's Q Nubani. Nubani is 5'8", 145, 23 years of age, all the way down from Washington, D.C. The Bailey's Crossroads area is out there. If you're familiar with that Tyson's Corner area out there around uh, Falls Church, Springfield, Virginia, with a record of one and one. He's 81 in active featherweights in Virginia. His opponent's record, two and one. This is uh, Nubani's third fight. He is a monster when he's in there. Yeah, I got a chance to talk to Q, and he was happy to come down here and match up against Woods Horace here in Florida. Very confident. He's got a wrestling background, but he said that he wants to stand and bang. He's been uh, training uh, jujitsu now for a year and a half. His only loss came via a split decision where he broke his nose. And he felt like he's improved his cardio here, Kevin, for this fight. Yeah, and when he broke his nose, I mean, it was broke, broke. It wasn't like, hey, it's just a little bit, you know, and your eyes start watering. I mean, he got caught. So this is going to be something for me to see how you can bounce back from those kind of things, and when you, especially when you jump in the cage. Different, though. Can't get hit with an elbow. You know, a little different. You can only get caught accidentally. And you can't get tossed, I think. Which, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> even sure. though we've seen that a little bit tonight, we've and we saw a knee land to the head in that last fight. It was on a takedown attempt, though, so. Very disciplined fighter. Coming out of Makito, you got the, the Hess family, you know, with Brent and those guys teaching you. Very disciplined fighter. Yeah, Q. Looking like he definitely has been working on his cardio. Ladies Pretty shredded and for this gentlemen, one. this is the main event of the evening. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cagezilla featherweight division. Starting out. Fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot ten and weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of American top team of Coconut Creek, it's Woods Horace! Woods Horace, 5'8", 145, ATT out of Coconut Creek. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five foot eight and weighing in at 145 pounds, making his way all the way from Washington, D.C., fighting out of Makito, it's Q Nubani! Nubani, 5'8", 145 from D.C. out there in Makito. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cagezilla featherweight division. And here is referee Alan Abeliz with the fighter instructions. All right, guys, I gave the instructions in the locker room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch them up now, touch them up. Come out, fight. 
This fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Alan Aviz, he'll be out there in the referee. Three three-minute rounds. This is not a title fight. Title fight would be three five-minute rounds. So it's nine minutes instead of 15 minutes if it goes the entire distance. They come right out here, right on top of the logo. Q will be in the black gloves with the white tape. Nice block there by Horace. Woods with the black gloves with the red tape. Standing right on top of the Cage City logo, trying to, uh, uh, Cage Zilla logo, trying to figure out distance. Yeah, hand fighting right now, trying to figure out that distance. Both throwing some kicks. Here left from Q. Oh, Bonnie dodging that kick from Woods Horace. Little leg kick, straight left combo there from Q. Oh, good left hand from Nubani. Good inside kick from Woods. Q looks like he wants to load up that left. Almost gets clipped coming in though, and then goes for the takedown. Puts Woods Horace up against the cage and Woods, try to dump him on his back, yeah. but nice defense here from Woods Horace as he tries to turn him around. Yeah, and, and got out of there just because he's strong. You know, he just slid to the side a little Ooh. bit and figured this out. I don't know if he's got that locked in. I can't really yeah. see from our, our side here. It's just a headlock. The, yeah. cage is, the cage is more round, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching it than we're used to. So Q in a tough spot here on his back. Looks like Woods Horace has one leg in. So half guard there by Q Nubani. Yeah, no elbows from this position here in amateur MMA in Florida. Nubani hanging on here. Yeah, yeah. just trying, trying to, to stay close. Trying to stay close. He almost rolled into a very bad position, though, Kevin. Well, he's oh, in full mount. He's yeah, in a, he's yeah. in full mount. Needs yep. to hip up out of that. Q's in a real bad spot right now. Fully mounted. Woods Horace looking really good right now with a minute and three seconds left to go here in the first round. So Q holding on, not allowing yeah. Woods Horace to get the distance he needs we'll see to start the ground and pound. So Woods, Woods Horace getting a little frustrated right now with how close Q is keeping to him and not yeah. able to get any distance yeah, even though he's fully mounted. And yeah, the, great defense. And the funny part about it is he looked at the referee like, hey, are you, you going to stand us up? Yeah, and well, he's because in a he, dominant position. All night, all night he's been standing the people up, though. This is the first time we haven't seen him stand anybody up. <laughs> Q doing a really good job of just surviving down here even though he's fully mounted. Yeah, Woods Horace getting really frustrated with this situation right now because he can't find a way to do any damage. Again, no elbows from here. He's, he's just... He just needs to beast up on him and start raining blows down on Q. Well, but he in, can't get the tis distance to do it. And we're in short time now. Just about 10 seconds left here in the first round. Yeah, wow. and Nubani can survive this here. That's a miracle because he did a great job <laughs> of not getting cleaned up right here. Yeah, but unfortunately for Q, oh, Nubani, he's going to have to win the next two. Yeah, he's going to have to win the next yeah. two rounds here. That round is definitely going to go to Woods Horace. Yeah. Spent the majority of that round just sitting on top of Q. Yeah, yeah. Live, live to fight another day after that one. But you got to wonder what that does to Q's cardio because he had a big dude sitting on his chest for yeah. most of that round. Yeah, he's breathing pretty hard. They got the ice pack out, but we'll see what kind of shape you're in. You're not coming down here and you're out of well, shape. Well, the cardio was an issue for him in his last fight. It was a split decision loss at Cagezilla 54 in March. Uh, he dominated the first round, bloody his opponent, Connor Buell, but took his foot off the gas in those final two rounds, and it cost him. He did say that he improved his cardio here. He knew that. You could see here on the replay and the defense as he was just holding on for dear life. And Woods Horace was just never able to get the distance and that he needed to land those strong blows. Just glancing blows for the most part didn't do a ton of damage. But Chris, like you said, how much did that affect his cardio here uh, for Q Nubani? And you can see he's taking deep breaths in through his mouth. <laughs> and right. we'll see how this works out here, round number two. Allen gets the seconds out. Here we go, round number two about to begin here in our main event. Both fighters right on top of the cage of the logo as they come out. Wood stands very stoic right there. Not a lot of movement, but a little rhythm. Yeah, standing up tall. Ooh, and just a missed with a good right. That one would have cleaned up right there. Good it's inside kick. Now Q definitely knows that he lost that first round. Knows he needs to score some points here, do some damage. Yeah, but he's being smart about it. He's not reckless. Yeah, round two, yeah. not round three. Yeah, he's not reckless yet. 
Feeling each other out here. Ooh. Good body kick by Woods Horace. You see Q trying to change levels here and then come up over the top with that left. You know, fighting Southpaw here is difficult. He glanced on the overhead. He caught him right there Ooh. twice with that left jab. Woods Horace trying to answer back with a right of his own, but it misses. Q just throwing haymakers in there with that big left. Yeah, it's not really any mystery what, what shot's coming, is it? Yeah, no. he, he needs to start setting up the combo a little bit because if he's landing that left as yeah. it is a couple times, he could do wonders with a little combo here. Yeah, so his first big shot was that combo where he threw that right uppercut first, dropped Woods' hands, and then he landed Now we got a timeout here. All right, now we're good to go. Oh, wait, our foot pad was messed up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> With those kicks at the inside thigh here, the lead leg for Woods Horace. He's trying to tenderize Ooh. each other's legs right now. It's just tough to do with those pads. You don't get that same slap. Uh, both of these guys are looking for the one, two here. Oh, Ooh, nice knee, knee to the body here to try to set up a takedown. But Q now has Woods Horace up against the fence, and he's going to try to get a double leg, but... I don't think Nabani's going to wrap him up here. Let's see. Got to be careful. Go for backwards. His neck. Go backwards. Trying to get. Don't go up. Go backwards. Trying yeah. to get that trip, and he gets him but down. But Woods Horace right back up to his feet here. Trying to get back up to his feet. Now on his back. Here at round number two. This is what this is what you wanted to see out of Q here in round number two. No, nope. so it's <laughs> just not quite <laughs> strong enough. No, yeah. unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Woods heard Brent Hess yell, yell for Q to slam him too. He knew what was coming. Yeah, yeah, just sat his weight down low, not able to get, pick him up. But Q now trying to get side control, but has him up against the fence. That uh, Woods Horace's back is just completely flush against the fence right now, and just turtled up. Now Q is trying to find some distance here to land some shots as round number two ends and then Woods Horace's coach comes in and tells him immediately he just says hey get up I, and and here we go here because I'm going to give that one to absolutely right Q on this so now this is the way you want to end a, a, a great event you know even though we got started an hour late you know the, some, some, some circumstances that we could not control because of that but here you go this is like the bottom of the ninth Coming up here, I, I, I would say that both fighters have won a round here in, in Cagezilla 55 on GoSports.com, and this is going to be an amazing finish. Yeah, it's been a, a good main event so far as the first round looked like it went to Woods Horace, uh, unarguably, and then the second round was a little closer, but I, I would have to give it to Q. He had yeah, put more Nibani, pressure on, and, yeah. you know, Nabani just able to put it on. You could see also Woods Horace was laying on the ground at the end of that at round number two, and uh, Horace is... Coach told him to get up immediately. Don't show any weakness. He looks yeah. a little gassed now, too. About to start round number three here in our main event. Last round of Cadezilla 55. He's trying to get him to touch gloves. They are. Oh, they these guys look pretty gassed here. What? Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Both guys do look really gassed. Navani in the black gloves with the white tape. You know, those kicks landed. Woods Horace looked right at Nubani and shook his head like those didn't affect me at all. Yeah, definitely looking like the cardio is getting a little bit less for these guys here in round number three. And Matty, have you noticed with the Mikito guys, they pick one thing and, and go stick get it. to yeah. it. And go get it. So it's that inside leg kick here for Q that he's been working this entire fight. Oh, Ooh, answers back here. Q looked like up against the fence. Now a little slip for him. Looks like Horace going to try to take advantage of it. Q right back up to his feet, though. He popped up it was definitely really quick. It was definitely a slip. He did not want to be down there to let Woods just pound on him. Q Nabani trying to land a knee here in the clinch. Trying to switch this one around and put Woods Horace up against the fence. Now a knee from Horace. Tried a little. I'm going to tell you what, Woods Horace is just a strong dude. 
Now Woods Horace trying oh. to get the takedown, but trying to do a reversal. No, but he's able to get the takedown and now inside control. Navani tried to flip it over and yeah, reverse it. I just thought couldn't he had the sweep. I'm going to tell you, Woods Horace is strong. But this is a close fight. That's a big takedown at a yeah. crucial moment. Oh, we have yeah. only a minute and 36 seconds left. That might have sealed the deal here for Woods Horace. We will see. Can Q Nubani get back on his feet? Try to even up this fight here. Is now trying to get oh, the mount. Is he going to switch him around, though? Oh, good, good Great sweep job. by Q. Great job. Now, Hess is... is Beautiful sweep reversal here, and now Q landing a couple shots here. Some lefts landing as Woods Horace gets back up to his feet. He's a strong dude, man. I'm going to tell you, Woods is, is, is having it. There you go, Q. Huge takedown yeah. right there. That just neutralized this round potentially. Yeah. This is going to be a real tough fight to score. I'm going to tell you what. This is something else. I Woods not, needs to get off his back right now. If I, I don't want to be the judge. Yeah, Woods Horace, though, man, just... So much energy expended for both of these fighters, but you know we talked about Q having a lack of cardio in that for, uh, in his last fight, but his cardio is looking real good here in round number three. Chris, he slipped that knee right in there, and yeah. now he's in full mount, Matty. Oh, let's was see it, if he can get it in there. Well, he wasn't full mount. Now Did trying Devonne to transition to the Did back. Devonne get it locked in. He doesn't have it underneath the chin, though. Woods Horace's chin. He's tucked it. Tucked Woods it down. has tucked it in. He's just trying to crank oh, on that neck. Oh, he might have it knocked in there now. No, he's just got that 20 face seconds crank. left. 20 seconds left. He's Can got he it get, knocked in there. Can he get the choke? Can he get the submission here at the very end it's of round number three of our main event? It's right across Woods' cheek, Matty. Still really, really painful, but not quite a choke yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, it uh, might have slipped under. <laughs> he's no, trying. He still has he's, his chin down nope. here. Wow. wow. What a beautiful yeah. finish. I don't know. He was trying to sell it right now. That was a very close fight, guys. Yeah, and if he had another minute, he might have finished that fight. So it was good. We talked about how Q's cardio was suspect in yeah. his last fight. This was a good look for yeah. him. This will be the this will be the first time tonight that Chris Fuller's words will be important. <laughs> <laughs> you can see here on the. I, <laughs> I was I waiting gotta, for a jab. You waited until the very. You got throw one night. <laughs> Every night, I gotta one get night. one in. It one. came at the very end. I gotta get one you in. Just snuck that one in there. I gotta get him in. Kind of like Q snuck I in know. this takedown here in the last minute, and that really could change things on the scorecard. Because when Woods Horace put him on his back, thought that might have sealed things up if Q didn't get up. But Q got up and it was able to turn around, get a takedown of his own, but still a strong finish from both fighters here in our main event. Hey, and I gotta give some kudos tonight to the Go Sports live team tonight because they did a great job. The GoSports.com uh, guys with the camera shots and the different views, watching the fighters come out. I mean, they're absolutely phenomenal. The guys in the back making sure that we're doing a great job. Everybody here at GoSports.com has been absolutely phenomenal this evening in making this work, especially when we had the little hiccup at the beginning. And they're going to be here till 1 o'clock in the morning breaking everything down. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be thinking about them while I'm at Waffle House you know, or Denny's. But I'm going to tell you, what a great job that all the camera guys have done tonight. The production crew is getting things set up. The Cagezilla crew did a great job tonight uh, pulling this one off, uh, uh, you know, traveling all the way down here to Fort Lauderdale. And I hope that we're back down here three, four more times this year. First event here in Fort Lauderdale, Revolution Live for Cagezilla 55. And we had a quite the entertaining event. We had some catastrophic knockouts. We had some close fights. We had some submissions. We saw it all here tonight. All right, let's throw it up to Chris Fuller. We'll get the call. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. But before we do, let's hear it one more time for both these fighters putting on a great show, definitely worthy of the main event. All right, here we go. All three judges score the bout 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, it's Q Nubani. Nubani comes away with a huge win and had to be in that last round. It just had to come through. And let me tell you, Woods Horace is a strong dude. I thought he had an amazing fight right up until the last minute of the third round. Woods, Woods Horace looked outstanding here tonight. Uh, he should not feel anything but proud about his performance. And, yeah, so Q just came over and asked what I thought. <laughs> hey, great, strong finish for you, man. Yeah. We talked about your cardio. Your cardio was not an issue. Uh, you, I think it is a little 
No, I know. Hey. You finished strong. Yeah. We were worried about you had that takedown. Woods got the takedown, takedown on you. You reversed it. You took him down, and that's what won you in the fight. <laughs> now you got to go get interviewed by Chris. But yeah. it's still, it was. We're a trying to do the interviews here. <laughs> we're going to interview. This feels like a bad scene from Step Brothers. We're doing the interviews now. <laughs> <laughs> it still was a strong finish in the last fight of the night, the, the main event here. But, yeah, Woods Horace had a, a great – I was actually shocked that that was a unanimous decision. Yeah, me too. I thought it might have been a split decision. Yeah. I, if, if he had won, I wouldn't have been shocked, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, absolutely. And and, and to go back to uh, the job that, that everyone has done, the referees tonight, you know, the, the card girls or the cage girls, everybody did a great job this whole entire weekend. It was phenomenal. I can't say enough about Go Sports and the things that they have accomplished with uh, Cagezilla. Yeah, and this fight, you know, available on GoSports.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here. And if you want to see more mixed martial arts action here from Cagezilla, definitely subscribe, tell all your friends about it. And it just, I love watching these style of fights. Uh, Obviously, mixed martial arts in general have been following it since UFC 1. Big, huge fan. Uh, but I just love the test that these guys undergo here in the amateur ranks, and you never know. For we free. See, yeah, and we, yeah, for free. And But they, you know, they're trying to get those fights in. Some of these guys we may see in the pro ranks, you have to start somewhere. There's yep. always an origin story, and that's what you get to see when you tune into Cagezilla. And GoSports.com when you get that back story. It's absolutely unbelievable. Let's throw it up to Chris. We'll get a quick interview here. Oh, we still got more pictures to go. Well, it's main event, you know. Yeah, you got to take, main, you gotta take yeah. some pictures, yeah, get some memories. You can see the replay here from some of these, uh, from some of the amazing finishes. As that was, I want to see that crazy knockout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we go. I'm here with your winner, Q Nubani. Q, great. Great job. So that, like I said, definitely earned the main event. I mean, that that was the, in my opinion, fight of the night. What did you, yeah, absolutely. So what did you think coming into that one? Listen, man, I knew my cardio was an issue that last round. I broke his nose in the first and I just gassed. Arms got heavy, you know, training that, swimming, running, the keto, pushing that sled outside. That's how we do it in VA. Push through that round two and three. And we got it done today, so I'm real happy. I'm real excited, you know what I mean? Florida takeover. So we're going to go have some fun in Miami and go back home. Victorious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, your winner in the main event. It's Q Nubani. Hey, Nubani said that he, he broke Horace's, uh, uh, Woods Horace. And ladies and gentlemen, that does at the it beginning. for us. We hope you guys had big. a good time <laughs> here at Cagezilla 55. Don't forget to check us yeah, out it, on it was, uh, it was just a great night. A great, Kevin, a great night of fights. It was a pleasure and working with you. Right uh, we, again, we saw kind of a mixed bag of everything. We saw some submissions. We saw party. some catastrophic uh, great, knockouts. Great knockout, yeah. The Thomas yeah. Jersey knockout. Yeah, I mean, if you see... Uh, that.